So what is Jest and how can you use it for unit testing with your own Express server? So today we want to take a look at how to set up this uh, framework here or this library, which is uh, developed and maintained primarily by Facebook. And it's a very nice tool for uh, unit uh, and integration testing your Express or your Node server. And to demonstrate how this works, I have a little example project over here. So I already created the um, like the skeleton and the logic simply for time reasons. And I just want to show you what it does. And then I want to show you how to set up Jest to test to unit test a particular functionality. So this endpoint or this whole server has like one endpoint. And this endpoint is called register. And the idea is that let's assume you sign up for like one particular service and it's asking for your uh, name, like your first name, your middle names and your last name. And the thing is that the first name always stops at the first space. So if you enter Thomas Alexander Adrian Smith as a first name, then your actual first name is only Thomas and your middle names are Alexander and Adrian. And the last name is Smith. And that is the idea. So basically the server, like this endpoint, you can send these three parameters there and then it's kind of normalizing. It's, or it's kind of like splitting up the first name uh, into, or it's splitting up the names into first name, middle names and last name. Okay, so everything is properly normalized and then stored inside of a database. Although I haven't implemented the data base part yet. So if I send this request, uh, you can see that in the console here, you can see, okay, it basically split up Thomas as first name, right? And then the middle names are now Alexander, Adrian and Smith. Okay, so it basically pulled out this Alexander from first name and added it to the middle names. And this is the functionality we would like to test. Yeah, the service is pretty simple. I will link the code in the description down below. Basically, there's just one route. I didn't add like a controller level. The only thing it has is it has a service layer and this service layer has like one method which is called register. Register takes like the parameters and then normalizes them. So in particular, we want to test this method here, sanitize names. So we don't have to go over like the functionality of this, but this is like a perfect candidate for unit test. And in order to unit test something, we need a test uh, runner. So we need to have something that runs our tests. And one of the options we have is uh, Jest. So that's why I would say, let's go to this website. Uh, let's go to documentation and you can see, okay, all you got to do is uh, run npm install save dev Jest. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go here. Um, right, let me make pull this up. I oh, know it doesn't work like this. Okay, so it could be that you don't see like the command here, but I just copy and pasted it from the website anyway. Okay, so I just copy pasted the installation instructions and now we should have it in here, yes. And what we now need to do is we need to say, okay, we want to have a new script called test. And then all we have to do is say jest. So this is the most basic form of setting up just right, you install the package and then you add like uh, for npm test, you add like just and then just is going to automatically check like all your files for test files. And then it's going to run all of these. And there's multiple ways on how you can organize your tests. Um, one of which is you can create a separate directory and put all of them there. However, that tends to get like a little bit tedious when uh, the project grows bigger but it's like a matter of taste. So some people do it like this. Uh, what I typically do is I co-locate them. So uh, I let's make a new directory here under service and let's just call it underscore underscore test underscore underscore. And the naming here is important. So just looks for like files in the test directory and also specifically for underscore underscore test underscore underscore files. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to name this user dot test dot js right so now just knows ah okay this is like a test file so once it sees ah, okay there's like a test dot js file inside of underscore underscore test it's going to run it and by the way it doesn't matter where this uh, underscore underscore test directory is so you can have tests for your routes you can have it or in the routes directory in the service it doesn't matter and that's a nice thing about this approach 
And what we want to do is we only want to test like this method here. It's called sanitize names. And in order to do that, what we need to do is we need to import like the service. So I'm going to require it. I'm going to go up and then I'm going to say user. So remember, we are in this underscore underscore test file. So I'll go one up and then I'll go to user. So this is our user service. And what you can do in Jest is, and also in Mocha and other frameworks is, you can group tests together in a described block. And that makes a lot of sense if you have multiple tests. So they are sort of like grouped together. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to call this user service. And you will quickly see um, what this does or like how things are grouped. Right, so you have this describe on a global level. And by the way, you can also nest things. So in here, you could have even another describe block, but just don't overdo it. <laughs> so typically I use like one or two levels at maximum. Yeah, so what could we test? We could test is, okay, we want the service to not do anything if the separation is already correct. So I'm gonna say test and then does nothing if separation is already correct you can play around with the description here anyway right so you say okay this is the comment or what the test is doing and this is the actual test and in here what i'm going to do is i'm just going to call this method called sanitize names so i'm going to say user service dot sanitize names and then I'm just going to pass something. So I'm going to pass uh, John and then uh, Alexander and then Smith. Okay, so this is the happy case. This means everything was entered correctly. And this is the first name. This is um, the, the middle names. And this is the last name. Right? Technically, we could also have, I don't know, Brian here maybe. Okay. And what this thing returns here you can see it returns like an object with f name middle names and last name so i'm just gonna copy this i'm gonna go here and then i'm gonna destructure it so i'm gonna take this away and this and this and by the way i would really recommend that once you start testing that you really start with something simple so something like that, right? Start with a simple unit test. Don't start directly with testing the database and that kind of stuff. Just start with a simple unit test with testing like just one function. And then once you get going, you can do more complex stuff in Jest like global setup, global tier down, run things before each test, run things after specific tests and so on. And what I'm now going to do is I'm going to say, okay, I expect that the first name is equal uh, John, right? That's what we passed, right? Because it should do nothing. And now I'm going to copy this three time, uh, two, two more times. And I'm going to say uh, middle names and last name. And I'm going to say this is Alexander Bryan. Okay. And this one is Smith. Yeah. And that's it. That's like your first unit test. Yeah, and that is pretty much like our first unit test. So as you can see, it's dead simple. We're just testing the functionality of one function. Well, that's like sort of like the happy case. So I'm just going to take this. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to say, okay, um, let's say test correct separation of first name if it contains spaces. So if I have something like um, John Alexander Brian Smith, then what it should do is the first name should be John, then the middle name should be Alexander Brian, and Smith should be the last name, right? So now what it did is it, it's supposed to take like this Alexander and add it to the middle names. So we can also try that. So let's try to run it again. Uh, NPM test would have been fine as well. Yeah, now you can see that it executed two tests. And this is basically how you can move forward, right? So continue to add 
test cases and continue to add like simple test cases at first. Don't do the complex stuff. And this is how you get started with Jest. So now we now you got now that you got it running, it will be much much easier to add like more and additional tests. But since I don't want to copy and paste the documentation here, I think I can just leave you with that and uh, check out the documentation for Jest. It's pretty good. And just start step by step. I would recommend to first test the service layer. And this is now a unit test. And later you might also add, um, add like additional tests or additional integration tests with a library uh, like super tests where you test like the actual route and then the behavior. Cool. So that's it pretty much. Thank you so much for watching. I will post the code in the description down below on GitHub. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, just let me know in the comments. You can also write me a tweet. My Twitter handle is at production coder. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.